everyone. This is Lucy Bird of LucyBird.com. And um, this is an assignment or this is part of the video challenge. And the question was how do you allocate your time during the day? Well, I have a, a schedule that I go by. And it's pretty much, this is it. And so in the morning... You know, I do my my um, reading or my not my reading. I'm, I meditate in the morning when I wake up. I meditate for about half an hour, and then what I do is I um, I uh, listen to. Um, they have some calls on that I listen to uh, about nine o'clock every day, every morning. I listen to these calls, and uh, lately they've been there's been some more so. You know, I switch around because, and then that's why I have these blanks so that I could change change what I need to do from from day to day. So I figure it out the night before because each day changes. Because now I'm um, I'm uh, taking my great grandson, picking him up and taking him to school. So I have to sort of uh, weed that in. And God, he he ties me out. This old lady just saying what she used to be. So I have to uh, break you know with him and spend time with him so now mainly what I try to do is do everything starting at uh, say 11.30 at night until about 5 o'clock in the morning but um, I can't connect with people like I used to on on Facebook because I used to do that a, a daily thing at a certain time of the day I would add 20 I would add 25 friends to 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 my Facebook and then I would um, and uh, the hour later, I would um, uh, friend or have conversations or um, you know message people that are already on my friends list and, and to build some rapport with them. And then uh, I write my articles. I write my articles around five o'clock. And uh, then I read again after I do my article because my articles I usually write them and then I have to I have to uh, sit back and you know sleep on it sometimes and then when I get up I have a different thought or I write it a different way uh, you know I, I uh, take pride in my articles so I don't just throw them together and then and then I might post them the next morning after I've slept on it so this is basically what my day is I have a time schedule for just about my because I have to write down set a timer for my breakfast lunch and dinner because Usually I, I bypass all of that until I find out, you know, finally I get dizzy and say, oh, well, I, I forgot to eat. So all of that is on my, my schedule and this is how my time is allotted. So now since I'm taking him as I take care of him now during the day, I have to change that. You know, some, some things that you have to do before it was just me, but uh, you got to do what you got to do to help everybody else out. But uh, this is what this is my schedule, and then I, I suggest that each everyone does this, you know, and have a the blanks where you can fill in for, you know, when changes come uh, or take place. Like you don't know somebody might stop by, or you know, I, I I even allow time for for when somebody might drop by, and I try to tell people at certain times what time they can come by and what time that they can't. But you know, sometimes that's unavoidable and. And you have to, you know, work with it as it goes along. But then when, when that happens, I come right back in. And my mind is always on what I need to do. And I keep it in front of me. The most important, the not so important. It's just, it's just listed right here, how I allocate my time during the day. I suggest that you do it too. It sort of keeps you on track. Because even though I'm not working anymore and I don't have to clock in, you know, take the break and do everything as far as corporate America is concerned, you know, you do everything by the clock. When you're at home, you more or less lay back. You know, I don't particularly watch TV that much. But um, you just you just do things at your leisure. But um, it's still a job. And so you have to treat it like it's a job. And you have to have a schedule. My main problem is I, I don't, um, I haven't. I have to set aside time for relaxation and uh, for eating mainly because I do have a, a, a slot on here for a time for when I uh, ride my bicycle. I have a stationary bike, so I do all that. Everything is on here. So 
I suggest that uh, if you're in this business, this online business, that you take heed to this because you can become really overwhelmed. And not only that, you, you tend to, if you don't have it written down, you'll, you'll forget. You'll forget what you did. So as I do it, I check it off or the night before. Now I have to do the night before. I have to figure out what my schedule is going to be for the next day. Just to keep it, you know, keep it real, so I won't get all um, pushed out of shape because I can't do what I what I normally do. So it's just adjusting. So take heed to it, people, because uh, this is uh, this is still a business, and you have to treat it as such. This is Lucy Bird, and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.